Well, um, I am going to try to make this a little bit interesting to convince you that I am actually doing good research in Sheffield and if I can't, please not tell my government otherwise I would be in trouble. So, um, my topic is can we really change our country and I guess that all of you have heard about Mexico, you know, really, really good things, really bad things. Um, but um, some of the good things, you know, well, just give me a few seconds. <laughs> Well, every single time that somebody talks about Mexico, it's about the beaches, the food, I don't know, the folklore in Mexico, that everything is so warm, sunny, and it's kind of nice. No? Um, at the same time, we have some international exposure. Well, I don't know, Frida Kahlo, you recognize maybe this guy for Gravity, the mariachis, and of course the tequila. I mean, the tequila is one of our best things, no? But uh, not everything is really, really good in our country. Perhaps you will have also heard about, well, a huge disparity in income. We have the richest man in the world, or the second now, which is Carlos Slim, he's Mexican. We are going to be one of the top ten economies in the world in a couple of years, or some few years. Um, but at the same time, we are not living in a pure democratic country. Um, as it can be said, well, Mexican democracy is still working on. Um, tell everyone around the world that Mexico or Mexico's democracy is a fraud. So those are some of the issues that we have. But most importantly, we have the cure environment. Do not worry, you can still go to Mexico, but just do not go to the north part or to the border with the US. So how, how can we actually address this problem? So we can actually work together, and perhaps as good neighbors, we can actually do it, or we can actually work it alone, each one of us. So the question is, what do we want? Do we work together or we do not care? And we just continue being ourselves. So, first, one of the things that as citizens we do not usually understand is that public policy, that is every single thing that the government does, affects us. Everything. So, the government can actually say, when can we drink, when, do we, when can we sleep, uh, and stuff like that. So, some issues that we need to consider if we would like to make a change, or if you are looking for a, I don't know, perhaps political action is, well, we have to define first the problem, perhaps there is no collaboration between neighbors, and the policy formulation. So, some of the things that we can actually see is the media. A lot of people that talk about the media creating problems, moral panics, that it is like panic among the population just because something happened and now we think that we are living in a dangerous place in all our time. An example is this, uh, what has just happened in the UK. Uh, the populists with weapons should not induce moral panic, so a lot of people is now considering that kids can actually be a potential threat to teachers. Um, but at the same time, we have other things that start to be related. No? So children having children, cannabis teenager. From one single issue, we can create an exaggerated panic over all population. And that is what is happening in Mexico. Because of murders, now a lot of people, a lot of people do not want to go. So is it actually my problem as a citizen? Well, yes, of course. Because everything that happens, everything that is reflected in the media, everything that the government does, affects us directly. So, we need to be involved with our neighbors, but also with politicians. Do they, that means the politicians care about me, we usually think that they do not hear, that they do not consider what we want, but they actually do. If we organize ourselves, if we go to protest, if we do something actually really, really tangible, they will look at us. Why? Well, an example in Mexico. Yes, we have civil society. We are not like uh, that underdeveloped country. Um, we have 25% of our 35,000 organizations in Mexico City, which is like the biggest city uh, in the world. However, even though we organize, we do massive demonstrations and protests, we are not coordinated and we do not have that impact in public policy or in whatever the government does. So. What has happened in Mexico is that people is now taking the guns. You know? I am not telling you to take guns or to go to protest in the UK as violent as this, but uh, those are some of the things that, as citizens, if the government does not listen to us, we are pushed to. What has happened with these guys? Well, they have actually created a change in what Mexico is doing. So these guys have actually been recognized as um, an important social actor in public policy. They have obtained the, public, the publicity that they were looking, and now they are changing policy. So finally, well, this is probably part of my thesis, but uh, overall, we need to organize ourselves. We need to consider that we can actually make a change, and we will actually force the government to change according to what we want. So that's
Merci. Thank you.